hydrosphere. Now we understood about the lithosphere side when we said that you know whatever is the part of earth which is occupied by land is known as lithosphere. When I talk about hydrosphere what I mean is whatever is the part of earth which is actually covered by water in the form of oceans okay that is known as hydrosphere now it is interesting that you know if you talk about the part of the earth which is covered by water it is actually 71% and the balance 29% is what is covered by land so this part of earth which is covered by water is known as hydrosphere so if I actually show you the map of the earth which is something like this all this blue portion that you see which is not a part of this normal land bank if I may call it a landmass all this blue portion it is nothing but hydrosphere now hydrosphere itself would comprise of several things it would comprise of ocean right it would comprise of vapors which are there in the atmosphere and even the one which is covered as a part of rivers but predominantly around 97 percent of the total water on earth is found in oceans and because it is too salty it is unfit for human use even out of the remaining three percent that you see a good part of it is available as ice okay or glaciers which are there or it is underground and only some part of it is actually available as fresh water which we use for drinking purposes in our homes now talking about some of the key oceans which are there there are predominantly four key oceans which exist and if I talk about them these are basically your Pacific Ocean it's the Indian Ocean the Atlantic Ocean sorry and the Arctic Ocean now if you try and locate it on the map this is where the Atlantic Ocean is so if you really see this this is South Atlantic Ocean this is the North Atlantic Ocean you have the Pacific Ocean South Pacific Ocean over here and the North Pacific Ocean on this side then you have the Indian Ocean which is over here and the Arctic Ocean basically on, is on this side. Just see the hand tool which is going around. Now at the ocean level also, you know, the water is not stagnant. The water is moving. And the movement which happens in the ocean can again be of three type. It can be waves, something which you would normally see if you go to near the ocean. Not in the ocean, I'm talking about near the ocean and then you have what is called the tides there's a high tide and the low tide and then there could be currents right amongst these ocean if I talk in terms of about size Pacific Ocean is actually the largest whereas the Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean Indian Ocean basically is named after the country India and it actually is only ocean which is named after a country right while these are more in terms of region this is named after a country and the best thing is all these four oceans and actually all the oceans on the earth are connected to each other right so basically we spoke about hydrosphere which is nothing but the part of the earth which is covered by water which happens to be 71 percent right out of the 71 percent it could be divided into oceans vapors and rivers ocean themselves are around 97 percent of the total water on earth but because it is salty it cannot be used by humans again the oceans the key four oceans which we have are pacific atlantic indian and arctic ocean I hope you had a good time understanding these videos. Thank you for being with us today.